The scallop that I have here are cured already. Those are heavy, what we call the large diver scallop, you know, quite large. And you can see on the side here, if there is that sinew here, you would want to remove it for that. That's the no, adductor I, muscle? Exactly. Yeah. Now, you don't have to remove that if you do a mousse because you make a puree. But if you serve it raw, as I am going to do. This is why he's a master chef. Do, Never waste a thing. Okay. You know, so here, you cut that into four or five pieces, very thin. So you really need these like big that. scallops. And these, these yes. we should tell them that these scallops do not have any water added to exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. So those okay. are more expensive, but yep. they're really worth it. Yes. And thin like that, what we do is a little bit of salt yeah. in the bottom, and mm -hmm. I cure them. And this is going to be cured in 15, 20 minutes, not even. Okay. The so time. So, you know, I did those ahead. I don't really have to. So we're going to serve that with a guacamole. So the trick is to cut them in thin slices, right? So they yeah, cure quickly. Okay. And then a little bit of salt on top. You would want to put like a piece of plastic wrap on top, mm -hmm. refrigerate it, and then that's it. It's there ready to be served in no time at all. When you put this a plastic so wrap, I like to put it right on top of Press it, not it around, so that there is no air in between. Okay. So that's basically ready. You know what you want to do is to cut your, uh, yep. avocado, your avocado around like this. Mm -hmm. You know, then twist it. Yes. This you grab yep. it. And out you go. Through. You did a good job of getting me we ripe got you avocado. The ripe, you know, when you have, can your finger can just make a little indentation. Now you really shouldn't put avocados in the refrigerator. Do you agree? I, I don't, agree. I don't, I don't keep them in the refrigerator. What do you need me to help you mash? So, yeah, a little bit. Okay. And I will add some lemon juice. Okay. I have my very clean finger. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of scallion in there. Mm -hmm. I love avocados. There's a lot of fat in avocados, but it's good fat. Yes. Yeah, if you eat a lot of avocado, you'll probably die in good health. <laughs> so, this is uh, so true. <laughs> I'm going to put a piece of poblano here. You oh. know what I do? Is it real hot? No? No, not very hot. I trust you have to him. test it because sometimes okay, it a just piece. blow your mind and oh, sometimes <laughs> it's really mild. Okay, so we put a little bit yeah, of this in that's, there. That's a mild one. If you don't have it, it gets, it's too mild, so I'm going to yeah. put some Tabasco. Okay, a little Tabasco. This is okay. good. Mm -hmm. You need uh, salt in there. Uh huh. All right. Uh, what else? A little bit of onion. You want to give it a little taste? A little bit of tomato for color. Okay. Food the things really. that we used to think of as um, foods that were not worth cooking with are now appearing on menus as gourmet foods, are they not? Yep. Yeah. Whoop. Hey, thanks, Jacques. <laughs> There you go. Okay. So now a little garlic goes in this? Yeah, I'll take okay. the end of it, crush it to remove the, the, okay. the skin here. Maybe half of that will mm -hmm. be enough. It tastes know. really good. You crush it and... This would be good with tortilla chips. Oh, yes. Well, this is this is what <laughs> we're going to, to put on top. Uh-huh. Okay. And the garlic. That's and the gar it. And that's it. You can leave it a bit chunky and okay. it's good. Okay. I like, I like the texture. So there, you know, the scallop, I cut it into five pieces. So one of those large, uh, so-called... Uh, so you're basically eating this almost raw. No, it is raw. It, yeah. it, it's a ceviche, you know? Yeah, and people will say, well, wait, shouldn't we be cooking the scallops? And if they're very, very fresh scallops... Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you eat, when you go to a Japanese restaurant, you don't have right. anything. Right, exactly. You know? Sushi, sashimi, so... But I think there are some people who have it in their mindset that they need to have all fish cooked. Okay. So we take some of this wonderful guacamole. Wow. In the center of it, yeah. This is, this, yeah, I would yeah. eat this. This is lovely. And this is so springy looking. So on top of this, you know, we'll put a little bit of a tortilla there, or what do you mm, call it? Those tortilla dorito, you know? chips, huh? Those dorito. You don't find those in Italian cooking, but that's okay. You don't even find it in French cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an innovation, right? Some cilantro. Some cilantro, okay. You know, a little bit of your beautiful olive oil Olive here. oil over the top. From Italy, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. I mean, you know. That's delicious. It's, it's perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. The crudo, you yeah. know. Your, uh, the crudo, si, yeah, si, si, si. Un piatto crudo, that's un right. Un piatto crudo. Okay, un piatto crudo. See, first maybe I'll do a little bit of this to All put right. on top here, a little bit of a julienne. Okay. You know. Over the top. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah, since we are. Mm hmm The skin, you know, has more flavor than the juice. Ah. That's where all of the essential oils are. Oils are, are you know? yes. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, 
So maybe I'll put a couple How of pretty. these around. Beautiful. Always add more than what mm -hmm. you have in the recipe. Mm -hmm. You see, when you do this here, you take only the yellow part of it. Yes. There is no white part. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that's bitter. If you mm -hmm. take the that part here. You've got everything in the bitterness. Yes. Yeah. But this, you know, can I use your stove? Sure. Look at that. Okay. Is that on? Yeah. Okay. okay, here. You see, if you press on this, you see the essential oil? Yes. Coming out of it. Wow, and doesn't this, this burn your fingers? No, this is where you really have the taste of the essential wow. oil, you know, in there. That, and that. And this has more taste it was Olympic juice. cooking. Okay, yes. that's. Okay. I'm gonna try that at home. Don't you try that. <laughs>